It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. It means a half-price haul video. I'll let you see what I bought today and show you the receipts at the end. If I don't forget, I tend to do that. If you don't mind me bending over and digging through bags and things, I haven't even taken it out of the bags yet. I'll just show you as I come to it. Some of the places that went today was Salvation Army, half price day for everything today except um, some of the furniture and mattresses. There was a couple of things like that. And of course, I wasn't in the market for that. Also, uh, Park Avenue Thrift that's here in town that gives to the AMVETs and things like that. They um, always do a half price and they had everything but pink tickets. I did buy some pink ticket items mostly today. But that was just part of the game. You know, you go in and you try and get things on half price if you can. But sometimes you just have to kind of buy what's there. Also hit the bins a little bit. So I'll show you what I got uh, there as well. Hang on just a minute. Can you tell I like to shop? Of course we all do, I'm sure. But like I said, this is going to be rattly and loud and everything. But you'll get the message. Let's see what we got. I bought several cups. These all came from um, Salvation Army. I got one of the Bicentennial, and this is just a regular size. It was 99 cents, so all of this was half price, unless I tell you something different. Okay, that was half price. I also got one of the Federal Express cups. As I've mentioned in some of my other videos, FedEx is big here in Memphis, and of course they've got hubs all over the world, and they're known as FedEx, and you see the purple and orange, you know, all of the colors that they have now. But anything that you see that has actually spelled out Federal Express, that's going to be something a little bit more collectible. You'll see that that was 99 cents, so I got that for half off as well. It says join the crowd, so it was probably something that they gave out at some of their orientations or something along those lines, job fairs or whatever. I also found this Mickey mug. It's a Disney brand. It was listed, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it was listed at $10. And it was $0.59, cents and I got it for half off. So that was really a good deal on that. It's New York, and then it's got the Disney um, Mickey Mouse logo on that. Right here at Christmas time, those are things that people get for um Either white elephant gifts, the um, little Santa exchange type of things at Christmas time. Sometimes um, during the holidays, you know, that that's something easy that you can give somebody. If somebody is in New York and they want to do a Disney thing and they know somebody, you know, likes Disney, they might fill it with some little candies or something like that for their secretary or whatever. And especially if you can get them cheap enough cups, sell really well and they sell um, pretty fast, actually. So I'll probably have a pile of stuff in a minute. Let's see. Next bag. If I pass by something, it's just me. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to kind of show you the highlights or whatever. I got this shirt. It actually smells good. Somebody washed it right before they donated it, but it's a Super Bowl um, Steelers, what year was that from? 2011. It was half of 99. I got this at PA Thrift. That's a nice shirt there. Also there, I found these. It was half, or no, pink was the tag today. I actually paid $3.93 for these. Let's see what we got. Sometimes you buy a grab bag and it's like, ugh, why did I buy that? But with Halloween coming up, I figured these masks sell, so let's just see what we got. You get unveiled just as soon as I do, you get the unveiling. It's got a little battery pack in there, so I'm sure that these light up. If they don't light up, it'd still sell. And it's got the strap for the back of the head, but I got that one. Happy Halloween. Thank you. This one's got the battery pack. It's another one that's similar. A little bit different. The other one had red eyes. How's tricks, baby? So I got three in there for $3.93. Very cool. So that I...
妈妈。So that was a cool little bar. I picked up this book. I just thought it was an interesting subject matter. Janice Joplin. It's written by her daughter, I'm assuming. I'd have to read through here and see, but Laura Joplin, that's probably her daughter or niece or somebody. It's got some actual photos in here and things. It is paperback. Um, I gave 99 cents for this. Another bag. All of these came from Park Avenue Thrift. So. I got this. You need my hat. Your hair looks like mine. After dealing with wind today, Harvey is starting to move up towards Memphis, I think. We're supposed to get 3 to 10 inches of rain tomorrow. Bet we don't get a drop. All the weathermen are saying that we're going to get a lot of it. Bet we don't get a drop. We'll see. All of my friends that are weathermen are going to be watching this video saying, I told you so, probably. All right, this one was $2.92. I did pay that because it was the pink tag. And this is a Simba. Lion, and you see on its foot that it says limited edition. Huh, that can mean something, that cannot. But it was in really good shape. It's got his uh, all of his outfit on and things like that. So I thought that might sell. Plus, you sell pretty well, and especially the Disney. And I buy funky art sometimes, and especially if it's light and it's shippable. The giraffe. This one says. Mm, Wagner is the last name. Looks like it might be Mary or something along those lines. Not sure. But it's actually a canvas art. It is a pink tag as well. Yeah, I picked out, out all the good stuff. $1.91. But I thought that was cool that it's actually hand painted acrylic. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, yeah. forgot I got this. I like a lot of these little vintage purses, and especially the little small ones like this. This is wooden. It's got the dovetailing on the side. It does have a couple of little issues here and there. But these are things that girls like to put on their um, dresser and things like that to put their jewelry in. And um, A lot of them have these little Bakelite handles like this. This is a little Bakelite one. Yes, let's see what it said on the inside. Collector's item. Yeah, it's kind of like that limited edition thing. Collector's item. Uh, decorated for you, made in Hong Kong. And I've forgotten his last name. I'll have to look it up. I, you know, an estate liquidator knows a lot, but they can't always know everything. I can't remember if it's Julie or Jules or something like that. Um, Gary, but um, I've bought other purses, you know, and sold other purses. That's probably, let's see, what they end up paying for that. I don't know if you can see it on there, but it, that one was a yellow tag, and it was $1.91. I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of odd. Um, so I got this one at half price. I got it for a little less than a dollar, and I'll probably sell it for around 15 But that's all hand done. So I thought that was neat. One more bag. Well, actually, two more bags, but going to get one more bag. All right, these came from Salvation Army. I believe all of this did. I was so excited. If you watch Pinching Pesos and probably other places too, but I know that Deborah talks about the salad shooters and how you need to buy the salad shooters when you see them. If, if the base is working, you can sell the base. If you only see the attachments, you can sell the attachments. Well, I was so excited today because I have never found one. In all of my estates, I've never had a salad shooter. Go figure. Well, I actually found a salad shooter today. And it works. I plugged it in. Everything seems to work and it looks extremely clean. You know, for its age and all of that kind of stuff. This is one of the Presto brand, of course. And you'll see it was $7.99, and so I got it for half off of that. And I thought, well, that's that's cool. I wish it had the attachments with it and everything. But, you know, I thought, well, the base will sell. And then guess what? I found the attachments. I was so excited. And so I told the lady, I said, well, these were way over there. Ooh, I'm about to spill my tea. That's not going to be good. Um... I said, I am so excited to find these. And I said, it's really, I think it's supposed to be on there. She said, yeah. 
take those on there. Well, I've got all the little attachments and everything in here. I think it's all of them. Yeah, so I'm missing the box, of course, you know, if anybody wanted the box. But they're wanting just the, the chute, the push chute, and, you know, any of your little attachments in there. So I did find that. I'm going to go ahead and price it high now. But as she has said on her station, and I've read, you know, on some different places and things like that, you want to price it high right now, but as it gets closer and closer to Thanksgiving and Christmas, people, you know, go with traditions. She said that on her channel, so I didn't originate that, but I know that to be true because I deal with estates all the time liquidating those, and people will come in and they will buy the most awful, ugly platters and tins and all of this kind of stuff because mom always made fudge and this is what she put it in and i don't have that tin anymore and you know those kind of things so people do buy traditions and habits and patterns you know and i sell by patterns a lot of times so so i'm excited about that i thought these were kind of funky and cool i found two of them don't know anything about them the brand let's see if i can find the tag that you can read I don't know if you say it Topi, I'm assuming T-O-P-I or Topia, excuse me, Topia, with an A on the end, Topia brand. I haven't dealt with this brand before. Um, young girl crop top type of thing. It was half of $5.99 at Salvation Army. And it's got kind of the Marvel comic look, the romance type of, you know, thing. Got that one. This one was also $5.99. One is a medium and one's a small. And this has got like faster than a speeding bullet, uh, bang, wow, pow, stuff like that. I thought those would be kind of funky. They'd look good in my store. You know, hopefully they'll sell too. I'm scared about this tea. Hold on a minute. I came in and I was just panting. I needed something to drink. And then a friend, actually my ex-husband, but <laughs> a friend of mine was in um, Salvation Army when I was there, and my ex-father-in-law was in there. It was nice to see both of them. I run into them periodically uh, out and about like that, and we stay in contact quite a bit, but uh, Dwight grabbed something and he said here look look at this and i said i want that if you don't want that <laughs> but it's a wrestling shirt isn't that funny i was like yeah i need to buy that t-shirt and then of course it's got the back it's just like those beach shirts that you see people in bathing suits and stuff you know and you wear it and it's an extra large and it was half of a dollar 99 thank you dwight then the rest of everything that I got came from the bin store. And you know, the bin store, uh, my bin store is $1.49 a pound for soft goods uh, up to a point. If it's like a comforter, then they give you a price break on it. But it's $1.49 on any of the soft goods, and they do it by the weight on any of those. And then other things are priced accordingly. You know, the hard goods and uh, pillows, things like that. You know, they have certain prices that they do on those. I got... I found these. I thought these were kind of cool. Buying something for somebody, you know, you don't know what else to buy, so you're going to buy a pool ball rack shaped pillow, it says. Um, it's got a tag on here from Dirt Cheap. If you have that kind of place in your town, it's a liquidation type place. We used to have one here. We don't anymore. So this apparently, well, we might have one up in Memphis. I'm not sure. I think there is one in Memphis, but there's not one down here in South Haven, just outside of Memphis. Um, but it had a $9 price tag there, and it comes from manual woodworkers and weavers in the Blue Ridge Mountains, it says. Well, I found four of these. They were in all different bins, but I found four of these. And I think I gave like around 50 cents a piece for them or something like that. I'd have to look at it and see. Um, I found seven of these, and I thought these were really cool. These are the CPR combo mask, and it comes from Kiefer is the company. Nobody's going to care. They're going to put it on their boats and things like that. But this is one of the little portable um, resuscitation kits. And so I looked through them to make sure that they were all brand new, which they are, and it's still got the alcohol swab. It doesn't 
they don't look very old. They don't look like they've been stored in an attic or anything like that. It was probably just a company cast off. Um, but all of these look good. They look like they are in good shape. Um, but I got seven of those, and these were all a dollar a piece, and they'll probably sell for around seven or eight dollars on um, eBay plus shipping. Got those. I found this. This is one of the Metric Wonder Cups. And it's by Pampered Chef, I believe. I'll have to look it up and make sure, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's a Pampered Chef item. Um, this was, I think it was around a quarter, I believe is what she told me. It was either a quarter or 50 cents, but I, this is going to be something I looked it up, and it's they usually sell for around 6 to $8, you know, on something like that. But it's one of the little Metric Cups. Get these pillows out of the way. And the resuscitators. <laughs> Let's see what else we got. I got a bag of vintage hardware, which is cool. Most of them, if not all of them, have the little screws that go on the back, it looks like, that go down in there. But whether they do or not, they'll still sell. Um, it's got a really pretty patina on it. It's some of those that's just the one, one hole. So that can be put on the front of a dresser or um, any of your cabinets in your bathroom or something along those lines. It looks like it's probably about 15 or so, 15 to 20 in here, and I got the whole bag for 50 cents. Hardware will sell. So if you're going by the road and you're not into furniture and all of that kind of stuff and you're not wanting to pick up the whole piece of furniture, always take your hardware off of it. I put that in some of my videos, too, that we go trash dashing a lot. That's what my grandkids call it call it trash dashing and that's what we do we dash around the neighborhood and we look through all of the trash you know that's on the side of the road we don't dig through or anything like that but if we see stuff that's sitting there or whatever I make a boatload of money off the of stuff that's sitting on the road because people are getting ready to throw it out and I can just throw it in my car puzzles are always a good seller this one is a Frank Lloyd Wright flags puzzle that's brand new it's all sealed and everything a little bit of damage on the shrink wrap on the front but everything is new on that I got a dollar for that found an Usborne book my daughter is an Usborne uh, representative I started to say salesperson but that's not really what they call them it had been $14.95, but I could get these for a quarter. I get any of the children's books for a quarter. If you want to know anything about Usborne, just send me a message or comment on this um, video, and I can set you up, let you see where her Facebook is, and she can get you some of these. We're homeschoolers. I homeschooled her. She's in her 30s, and it um, didn't hurt her any. She's really, really smart. <laughs> And uh, it's a good experience, you know. We used a lot of the Usborne books back then. Well, they've improved and they've just expanded everything that they do with Usborne. So always check out the Usborne books. These are real good resellers as well. A lot of people love them. A lot of people hate them. The clowns are popular. This one is a little bank. It actually has the bottom to it. Somebody had put a 50 cent tag on it. I got it for a quarter at the bins. And it's um, the hard molded plastic. It doesn't have any name on it. All it says on the bottom is made in Japan, or excuse me, made in um, China. But it is hand painted. You can tell by the little face that it's hand painted and things like that. Stuff like this will sell. So I always pick up something like that. Baseball caps, I pay a dollar for. This one's Wingman. Self explanatory. Here's another clown. People love them or hate them, like I said. But this is a little vintage clown. This is one that's made out of the fabric yo yo's. Okay. It's real good and clean. It looks like it was just sitting on a little shelf somewhere. Um, the head says Hong Kong on it, so we know that it's older. And it's going to be something that's probably, like I said, it's got a layer of dust and things like that. But this is going to be something that that will actually sell. I've sold these several times. And with it being the red, white, and blue like this, American uh, flag, American flag, it's probably going to sell pretty fast. 
and I think I got 50 cents for that. I found this. I can sell it as is, all in one piece, or I can sell it um, by parting out the patches and the sash. But it is a brownie Girl Scouts. It's got the Girl Scouts patch um, sash, merit sash. Um, this one's from the Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, which this is where I live, is in the tri-state area, just about in the middle of it. And it's got a few patches on there. I picked that up for a quarter. <laughs> I thought this was awesome. I picked up Scooby-Doo. Now, I pick up Scooby-Doo, but he's a TV organizer. This set, He sits on top of the arm of the recliner or the arm of the sofa or whatever, and you can put your remote down in there or I guess a pack of cigarettes or whatever. He smells real clean, so I don't think anybody smoked around him or anything, but it says TV organizer. And it's surface washable, and it's actually a Scooby-Doo trademarked brand. So he's in pretty good shape. It's got a couple of little issues, but not anything dramatic. I paid a dollar for him. And these, this was in a whole box, and she just charged me a dollar fifty, I think, for the whole box. These are all little magnets. This is the, I think the plast, uh, is it plastiwood or something like that? Whatever the brand is, I'll have to look it up again because I didn't have my good reading glasses on, and in this light I can't see it, so because I'm old. Um, I think it's plastwood, plastwood. But anyway, it's got the balls and all this, and you know, it's it's a building set. See, you do that, and it's got all of these in here. I keep little magnets like this in my purse. I keep them away from my credit cards or anything like that, but I keep two or three in my, um, kind of my tote bag that I take around with me that's got my estate information in it and all that kind of junk, and it's got my jeweler's loop and, the, you know, all of that kind of thing. I keep one or two in there, and I keep one in my pocket a lot of times, and I'll keep one in my purse or whatever, like I said, away from the credit cards. But that way, you know, if I go to a yard sale and I can lay out jewelry and I can just run it across the top of it, you know, and know whatever um, is just going to be um, cheap jewelry, you know, and price accordingly <laughs> if I get ready to make an offer. Let's see what else do I have. If I've got anything, got a couple of shirts for me. Let's see if there's anything in the box. It feels heavy. So let me see. Take a commercial break. Go take smoke. So. Uh, yeah, I got this. I'm gonna replace the eye on it, but it's the time of the year to start putting up. It's probably a little late, actually, but um, to start putting up the ugly Christmas sweaters and things. But I got this one. I thought this was so funny. <laughs> It's horrible. <laughs> oh, isn't that funny? Can you just see that coming out of somebody's great big old belly button area? <laughs> but I'm going to fix the eyeball on it. It's missing an eyeball. But I gave probably by weight, I probably gave around a dollar or maybe a dollar and a quarter for that. They usually sell for like 15 to 25 depends on the thing. I always like to buy the unusual clothing. This time of the year, the orange and black, you know, it's going to be popular. Let's see. Sorry about that. What's hot brand? I don't know anything about it. It's a large. And by weight, I probably gave less than 50 cents for it. But it's kind of an overshirt type of thing. And then that's that, this is the back, you know, so you could wear a black tank under it or something along those lines. And it'd have the little open back on it. And it says stuff like um, OMG and please do and love you and stuff like that. Let's see. 
I just mailed off today a top very similar to this one and somebody snapped on it right away. Well, I saw the fabric and I thought, man, that looks just like the top that I sold. And it is similar fabric to it. So it's, and it's the same brand. It's the Win Win brand. So we'll see how this one is. We'll see if it's a Win Win. <laughs> it's a half sleeve lace tunic, size small to medium. And it's one of the little boho ones. It's got the crocheted sleeve. Thank you. And see, when I saw it, I wanted that other one. I wanted to keep that other one. And when I saw this one, I thought, oh, maybe it's a large because I wear a large because I have to wear a large. And that's just not going to happen. But anyway, it's cute. And then two more. I bought this too. I kind of gravitate towards um, the unusual, you know, when it comes to clothing and stuff. Not always. You know, I'll buy the Tommy Bahama shirts. I'll buy, you know, the things that people say. On occasion, I will. I won't buy every Tommy Bahama. You know, they sell okay for me. They're not great, you know, or whatever. I'm not real thrilled with them. But um, they'll sell decently if it's something that's a good subject matter on there. It's real colorful or something along those lines. Same thing with the Tommy Hilfiger shirts. You know, if you get something that's got a good subject matter on it, you're going to end up selling it, you know, pretty well. Um, but if it's just plain white shirt or something along those lines, it's just not going to sell very well. You hear my grandkids? I've got my door locked. They can't come in. Eyeshadow brand. And it looks like it's small. And it's a real pretty teal. I don't know if it'll show up that way, but looks like teal but it's the crochet little crop top this is good for you know clubbing and things like that I mean this time of the year even though we're moving into the fall and the winter or whatever um, this is something that the girls like to wear with leggings and things like that and it probably cost me about a quarter at the bin store and then last but not least I like to buy a lot of the Western shirts this one actually is a one for a female it's I buy a lot of the men's shirts I mailed off one today that was a Cumberland brand. This one is Mine and Bill's Outfitters. It's a size large and it's a women's shirt and you'll see that it's got the flap front on it which is real popular for women. It's got the flap across here and it's got the little keyhole front. This is at the top and then it's got the little keyhole right here. Um, that's something real popular and that'll probably sell really well. Got a really nice pattern. So that's what I got today. And let me show you my receipts real quick before my grandkids get out of order. In there. <laughs> so you'll see at Salvation Army, I spent $12. You see that? Or no, 13 with tags. $13.10. And at... Park Avenue Thrift, you'll see I spent $12.51. And then at the bin store, which was that last big bag full of stuff, I spent $25.21. So I add all that together, and that's how much I spent today on all of the things that you just saw, other than three tops that I got for myself that I threw off to the side. So I got those as well. So it was a really good day sourcing. Um, my room here is absolutely just full of stuff, but I've got to work my estate tomorrow, so I won't be able to get in here and list too much. I might uh, list a few things tonight and get some pictures made and things like that um, while I've got everything out, so <laughs> it would be a good time to do it, I guess. Um, I don't know if we're going to lose our power or not. Like I said, I don't know if I agree with the weathermen or not, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Either way, Lorelai and I will be going on estate duty, and we'll probably do a little bit of filming there. We're just about to round out the corner on it, so... Hope you're having a good day, good week where you are, that everybody is drying out. If you've gotten uh, some of the hurricane action, hopefully everybody's safe and sound in their homes. And we thank God for taking care of all of our friends, especially those that are resellers. We appreciate it. Come back to my channel. I'll have some new content for you soon. Happy junkin'.